Hi guys, it's me. I'm back. It's been a while since I've done a video and I've got some good reasons for it. One, we have had a lot of changes going on in our household. So um, I haven't really had a lot of time to make any videos, but I'm back and I'm happy to be back and excited to let you know what's been going on. No, I'm not pregnant. No, I did not have a baby. We didn't even adopt a baby, but we moved. We um, built a new home and we moved and it's been exciting and it's been fun. And we've got to, we've been able to do a lot of really cool things with our house. Um, and one of those things was a, we did have an addition. We did. We got a dog. Um, he's a golden Labrador retriever, which means he's half Labrador, yellow lab, and a half golden retriever. Let me show you. The little tank. Oh, hi. Oh my gosh, look at that face. He's just so cute. Oh, the little puppy. He's three months old. He was born in November, and we've actually had him with us for a month now. And I've thought for the past month, I have got to make a video about this because it's a great thing. Everybody loves dogs. Everybody has dogs. Well, a lot of people have dogs. And so I thought this would be really fun to document and talk about. But let me tell you, I've got a lot of things actually to tell you about it. Um, one, his name is Denver. He's adorable. We love him. We're so in love with him. Um, his little face is just dreamy. Um, he came from a litter of eight and we got to pick him out and he, um, he was really calm, really sweet, really cuddly, really lovey. And so we thought, yeah, we want that one. Cause that's what we want. We want a dog that's going to be a family member and loving and kind and sweet. But, um, also I wanted a golden retriever, um, cause I grew up with that, but my husband didn't want so much hair. So we thought, okay, well let's get a lab and retriever mix. And we totally found that so quickly. It was totally in the stars for us. And then, um, he wanted an inside dog, which I thought was bananas. I don't do inside dogs. I don't do little dogs. I don't do inside dogs. Dogs are meant to be a big dog and outside playing and roaming and learning and becoming part of the family. And the kids go outside and play with it. That's how I grew up. So I totally thought that that's what it should be. So the deal was I got to pick the kind of dog. Um, if my husband could have it be an inside dog, slash outside dog. Obviously he has to poo and stuff outside. But, um, when we got him, I quickly turned and thought, Oh, I just want to cuddle him all day. And I want him inside with me and I want him on the couch and I want him in my food and I want him in my mouth and I just want to eat him. I just love this dog. Anything. I just wanted him, wanted him, wanted him. So I was totally fine with him being inside. And, um, then he started to nibble and teeth and do all the things that everyone warned us would happen and go ahead, go ahead people, say it. We told you so, we told you it'd be like that. We are experienced, we knew that puppy part was hard, we knew it, you didn't listen. Well, guess what, we wanted the puppy. We wanted him to be with us as long as he possibly could. We wanted to have as many years as we could with this dog, knowing that dogs don't live very long compared to human life, we wanted our dog to live with us as long as he could. So we wanted a puppy. So we got a puppy and everything that comes with it. So um, he nibbles, he teeds. He doesn't even just nibble anymore. Now it's just like a full on, you know, he wants to bite. He doesn't bite us, but he definitely grabs on us with his teeth. We had to pull his mouth off. Sometimes um, I find myself saying the word no to him more than any other word I've ever said to anybody. I'm constantly, no, 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 all day long. And I feel so bad sometimes. And we've tried, um, my sister has a golden retriever and he's a sweet little gem. And I constantly am asking her for advice and help because I don't want to be mean to our doggy. I don't want to hurt him. I don't want to mess him up. I don't want him to be aggressive. I don't want him to think we don't love him. All these things I don't want. And I do want, I want him to be kind and I want him to be calm and I want him to stay down low and I want him this and this and this. Anyway, it's been tricky. If you guys have some advice, I would love that. I mean, I know he's a lab, part lab, so I know he's gonna be very playful, um, but he's also a golden retriever, so I know that he can be very calm too, and I know that any dog is a product of his environment. 
as a child is. So we try to be very loving and kind, but firm and letting him know who's the alpha. I mean, we really have done some research and we've really tried to look into this and figure this all out. But man, alive. It's to a point where I'm like, this dog needs to just be outside. And that's what I'm trying to talk the husband into right now is just getting this cute little guy to be an outside dog so that we can breathe a little. Getting my kids ready for school in the morning is a nightmare because one kid's being jumped on and I'm trying to do hair for another one and they were making lunches and then he's climbing on my brand new beautiful white cabinets and it's just not, it's not the fairy tale right now. And my husband who adores him probably the very most has gotten to a point where he's just kind of almost over it where he's thinking, dude, get off of me. Stop jumping on me. Stop biting. You guys, like three of my favorite sweaters have holes in them. I'm not okay with that. It makes me so mad, actually. So let's not talk about that right now. Because I don't want to get mad. That my throw pillows, our blankets, oh my gosh, and our blankets, like, he likes to hump them. What kind of dog does that? So, we'll definitely be getting him fixed soon. I'm not breeding with this pup. So... We're definitely going to get that fixed. Um, some other things that we've had taken care of, uh, doggy shots. We got our dog at eight weeks old, and he hadn't had any of his shots yet. They left that for us to take care of, I guess. So we took him in at his, like, nine-week mark because we got him home, and we just kind of were trying to adjust to him and sleeping. And he slept really good. The first night, he woke up, like, four times. But then we made him stick it out, and... We feed him at a certain time. Don't feed him past that time. That was from my sister. She's a smarty. And then take him out right before we go to bed. And then he lasts through the night now. So he'll go to bed at like 1030. And then he'll wake up at like 630 and go to the bathroom. And then come back in. He'll eat. Go poop a few minutes later. And then come back in. And he's good. But, oh my gosh, there's so much I could talk about. So many things and so many experiences that we have had so far. But I'll finish on this one. Shots. We had his shots done. Um at like nine weeks and you go every three to four weeks after that they say so next week we're due for another round of shots but that's been kind of hard because we haven't been able to take him out anywhere we took him to the park one time when we first got him and I was like wait a minute we have Parvo down here where we live and uh we don't want him to get that obviously so we have to just keep him home and now we have a bigger yard for him to play in and so that's been good but we have to just kind of keep him home and he can't go on sidewalks and when I took him to the dog, or the doctor the first time I had to hold him the whole time well he's getting bigger uh, I can't really hold him when he's 16 weeks old and 18 weeks old and maybe I can maybe I can maybe I'm gonna have to but after those shots we'll take him to the park and we'll be able to play with him and have fun with him that way but Anyway, any advice on how to get this cute little puppy to stop biting us? Bully sticks, yes, that works. We give him bully sticks constantly. Um, chew toys, obviously, you guys, obviously. I've got ropes for him. I've got hard, the hard plastic ones. I don't know the brand right now. It starts with an N. I'll find that out later for you. Um, we have balls for him. I have an old rag. The one cloth thing that we let him chew on is this old rag. And we're very specific with him of what he can and cannot chew on and what he can and cannot jump on, what he can't do. We're very specific, and I'm pretty good at being consistent. But, man, making boundaries for him. I'm constantly saying no, and I feel so bad for him. But he's a cute little thing. Puppies are hard. If you really want to get one, there's a lot that comes with it. We're learning. It's it, Right now... I want to say it's worth it. Yeah, we love him. So, yeah, of course we're going to say it's worth it. In 10 years, I don't know if we'll get another puppy. I don't know if we'll get another dog. <laughs> but if we do get another dog, we'll probably go to, like, an animal rescue or something and get, like, a two- or three-year-old dog. And hopefully it's been trained well and hopefully it doesn't have issues and abuse behind it. I don't know. We'll have to train a different dog, I guess, a different way. But this teething bit is really difficult. And the potty training isn't too hard. Sleeping through the night isn't too hard, but the teething is really hard. Anyway, let's say bye to my little Denver as he sleeps in his cage. Oh, kennel training. We'll do another video about kennel training. What I feel about that too. Okay, bye. See you. Goodbye, Denver. Goodbye, sweet puppy. Yeah.
Peace out.